Hey, 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 I'm back. Sorry about that. I uh, had an internet interruption and there might be more of that. So talking about barriers and boundaries, um, before I was so rudely interrupted, <laughs> Danielle Laporte said this, says this really beautifully in her new book, White Hot Truth. So I highly recommend it. Hi, Martina. Nice to see you. So if you haven't ordered your copy of White Hot Truth with Danielle Laporte, I, it's, a, it's an awesome book. And I think today's the last day um, that you can actually order it and get the audible version. So I've been listening to it in the car and I just love her. I love everything that she does. She really resonates with, you know, just speak your hot, red hot, holy truth. So yay, thank you, yes I'm back. So, difference between boundaries and, and barriers. I was saying, think about a boundary, and this is, this is, this is kind of what, how Danielle explains it, and I love it, that, that you have a fence with a gate, and the energy can come and go as you open and close the gate, and you know you're protected. And boundaries say, this works for me, and this doesn't. And because you've made these very clear declarations, because you know who you are, and you know that the most graceful, loving act of kindness that you can give yourself is to, to, to listen to your body, stay connected to your body, and look at, is this going to be a contribution to me? Okay, If I choose this, will it expand my reality? And that's a question I love to ask, is if I choose this thing or this person or whatever it is, will it add to my life? Will it add value to my life? It's a very different energy to, to, to saying, what can I get? Okay, do you get that? So, side note. So, if you're making clear declarations because you know your integrity, your morals, your values, what you stand for, you really, really know yourself, right? The deep down stuff. Oh, it's just told me Vumatel will be conducting maintenance on its network. So, I might lose you again. Um, my fiber is decided to do some maintenance. Maintenance is good, so we're, main, we're doing some maintenance and some active appreciation today on boundaries and, and how to hold yourself in your truth. And let me take a breath because this has kind of been a bit distracting. So because you have standards, you no longer hold yourself to unrealistically high standards. And I wrote about this a while ago. I actually, it's on my blog over at Access Your True Nature. So comment, questions. Hi, Anjana. Nice to see you. Let me know some of the ways that you've actually created impermeable barriers and exceptionally unrealistic high standards that keep you in that place Elena was talking about of constantly guilt tripping yourself into doing things you don't want to do that are totally against every fiber of your being. Your body is screaming, get away from this person, get away from this place. You just know it. And we don't want to be using this only in times when we're actually in danger. You know, like when you're walking down a dark street and, and the back, the, the back, your hair prickles or you just feel like you're being watched and before you know it, you've got your car keys in your hand like this and your whole body is primed to defend itself. Hi, Kizzy. Okay, we don't want to be just using this in a state of emergency and we also don't want to be creating our life as trauma, drama and emergency, which is kind of what you're doing when you're saying yes, when you actually want to say no. Hi Louise, hi Asa, hi. Tag a friend, comment, tell me what is one way that you actually hold, <laughs> hold yourself in your integrity to your no. Thank you, but no thank you. And I will be posting a link where you can download the, a cheat sheet that I made you um, to remind you, to remind you when you're, when you're, your body's saying run away and you're saying, of course I'll do that for you. Of course, you know, let's stop thinking that it's a way to earn a naughty badge and, and be the good girl by those old cliche sayings that, that are, you know, those things like, oh, if you want something done, ask a busy person. Okay, we wanna stop being busy and we want, actually wanna create our lives as our joy of business. So, Daniel Laporte, White Hot Truth, was talking, she was saying that boundaries are like a fence with a gate. 
energy can go in and energy can go out just like money we need money to circulate your energy needs to circulate and boundaries are saying oh that feels good this works for me because it's aligned it's aligned because you know like you know like you know yourself and you know what works and what doesn't work based on past experience right because remember your brain's always going to go and look for evidence and most of the time because you want to be right rather than free you are going to say well maybe I misjudged that person or um, maybe it was just bad timing it's either a yes or it's a no okay the minute you're in maybe you're you're already coming from this place of lack you're already running from the fear of what do I have to lose if I don't do this what am I gonna get if I if I do this if I'm the good girl what's the reward and more so with all you sensitive empaths what is the punishment so you want to be making very clear declarations I like to call them demands right it's my commitment to myself and you can chill because you've told the world how you would like to be treated okay you are not here to be anybody's doormat including your mind got it that's my tough love for today uh -huh. sometimes I rather oh this is going really really fast I will go back and answer all your questions if you have have them post them below um, the feeds going really really quickly here and I do want to kind of speed this up I have a call out to see some cats that actually need to have some boundaries put in place so I'm, I'm going to see have a cat conversation just now and I got to get into the traffic and also I don't know how long this internet is gonna gonna hold so so just remember you get to open or close the gate whenever you think it's your gate it's your gate and it's your fence right talk you can call that your energy um, you know we have Wei Qi it's produced by the gallbladder and that is your body's first first contact with the outside environment it's it's cre you get strong Wei Qi come from your gallbladder so if you're feeling gold if you're feeling stuck if you've got reflux if you're not digesting life really well you might want to look at your body's trying to tell you that you need to get you need to get back in alignment with putting some some safe strong healthy boundaries in place if you're feeling gold that's your gallbladder saying hey we're supposed to be a hinge the gallbladder is a hinge and it takes orders from the liver and it works really nicely with the liver so if you're not holding yourself in in a loving place your gallbladder is going to be telling you there's some anger that needs to be released because your boundaries have been crossed somebody is treating you like you didn't you maybe you weren't clear enough about telling people that this doesn't work for you and it takes you know the more you do this the less you need the courage the less bravery you need because you're just standing in your truth you can love yourself enough to not you have reflux suppressed anger a lot of the time okay because you are it's kind of like you've got your foot on the handbrake at uh, the, the brake and the pit and the, the gas at the same time Christina and you're spinning your wheels and creating a whole lot of steam which is why often when we're angry we get really really heat hot right because we're pushing it down and that is a clear indication that that somewhere there is a dishonoring okay come back to your heart come back to your heart and if you start making clear declarations about your standards then you can be at peace within the gate you can chill because you've told the world how you want to be treated so Danielle Laporte talks about them as you know barriers are like a shield that you're kind of dragging around yourself and you're ready to defend yourself because you're like holy crap what's they what's somebody gonna ask about me it's not a very peaceful place it's very stressful because you're on guard all the time and it's a very anxiety inducing you know those moments when you kind of see someone across the the hallway and they're coming towards you and you're kind of going oh shit what are they gonna ask ask me to do now and you try and hide and you try and run away or you try not to let them see you because you know that they're that they're not showing not and I'm not saying all the time but we're talking about this in relationship to boundaries um, you know you're on guard all the time you're looking for the next attack and there is no peace in that because you're thinking oh dear what are they what are they gonna want what am I gonna have to give this person okay 
and and maybe it's your boss and they're like oh gosh she's gonna ask me to work overtime again or someone's gonna be mean to me or you know are you gonna take advantage of me are you gonna take me for granted again and if if any of you have have been in in a narcissistic <laughs> a narcissistic environment or whether that's your boss or your partner or you know somebody in your family my father was very much like that you can never relax you're walking on eggshells all the time trying to get it right and that's just fear that's running you so you can never ever relax because you actually haven't made any declarations you're waiting for somebody to come and stand up for you you're waiting for somebody to you know um, defend you and I'm sorry to tell you this but nobody's coming to save you because you don't need saving okay the only person that can stand up for you is you by opening your heart so standing by your boundaries it does take some practice especially if you haven't done it for a while and and if you're gonna offend some people you're gonna you know maybe someone's gonna tell you you broke my heart and your heart will break for them and what if no one breaks your heart they just break your expectations of them you know and that's the place where we go into the guilt Elena Ah, anger and anger is a potency you know anger is there to move us forward that's why in fact the liver and the gallbladder in Chinese medicine are governed by wood and that's all about flexibility if you're not watering your wood um, in Chinese medicine what happens things get brittle people have heart attacks because they've suppressed things for so long they will snap Achilles tendons I did that three times because I had been sitting on so much anger for so long and not feeling safe enough to speak my truth that it took a lot of practice for me to actually come to the place where I, I was willing to be to piss somebody off right I was willing to offend people I was willing for people to say what a bitch actually I was called frigid a few times for saying no too. <laughs> you know that is just because people people don't want you to have strong boundaries because that way they can't manipulate you and they can't get you to do what they want you to do so you know you don't have anything to defend you remember my favorite saying at the moment is nothing to hide nothing to prove because it's so simple it's as simple as that you are a good person you are a kind loving caring person put it on a on a sticky note stick it on your fridge stick it in your car stick it on your mirror you have nothing to hide and nothing to prove you came into this world in a body that is pure love okay and anytime anybody else is pushing your buttons or transgressing your boundaries you you can remind them in a very kind way and I go into this in great depth in the shadow dancing class where we look at the blind spots we look at the patterns we look at the triggers and we look at where are you projecting where are people projecting on you right it's all around boundaries and where are you going into assumptions because you're too afraid to actually say could you help me I'm a little bit confused here wasn't this what we agreed on um, that is that is how you hold strong boundaries and it, and I want you to tread gently on yourself because it does take a bit of practice if you if you've been the doormat for a while so just be kind know that you're you're gonna people are gonna get angry with you know that someone will say oh you broke my heart or oh you don't love me as a form of manipulation it's not true having strong boundaries is the greatest act of love of yourself and for that other person because when you can stand strong and ask for what you want then other people get to do it too yeah yeah mothers mothers you gotta love them and they did the best that they they could with what they had but yeah you know oftentimes that one of the questions I love to ask Louise is who does it belong to is this even mine this feeling that I'm having and tune into your body and ask your body to tell you what it is because a lot of the time it's a projection that you pick up and as kids we just felt we're energy we were pure energy we didn't think from the intellect we just went with the feeling and we knew we knew and then we were programmed out of it because that was the only way that we got to feel safe you know you couldn't run away you couldn't fight so oftentimes that nervous system goes into freeze 
because that's all you knew. So growing up, we go into those same codependent relationships. Hey, Roxanne. Yeah, yeah. It is hard, Roxanne, but it can also be easy because that is that it comes from love. When you come from the heart and your heart is connected to the heart of the person, then you can say, you know what? This doesn't work for me. And remember, it's not personal. We make it personal. The, the ego wants to make it personal. The ego wants to be right. Ha! <laughs> Going through menopause. So when you let people take advantage of you, when you ignore the mismatch between actions and words of other, other people, that's when, that's when things get confusing. That's when we go into that, that how, how do, I, how do I fix this, which is always lack. It's always lack. You know, it's like as kids we knew the energy, right? Remember we borrow the vagus nerve, we, our vagal tone before we develop our vagus nerve. We borrow our, our primary caregivers. So if your mother was going and her whole body was tense, or she's saying, oh, very confusing. This is why kids who, who are around people who have got Botox, mothers that can't move their foreheads, they don't, under, they don't learn what's theirs and what's not, not theirs anymore because the energy doesn't match the words that are coming out of people's mouths. So you have to be that secure primary caregiver for your for your child parts that are still stuck in how do I show up how do I show up there's lack right it's always coming from fear am I making sense hi Sutong yeah um I will go back and answer some of your questions um this thing is really going really fast so don't worry, I will come back in and, and answer your questions. So post your comments and questions below. Share this with someone that needs to hear how to set strong, healthy boundaries. Or perhaps you want to lovingly send it to somebody who has um, who needs to hear this. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, so you know you gotta you gotta you gotta get it that when somebody calls you things that are not you, like we were talking about yesterday, oh, you're so full of yourself, who do you think you are? Oh, you know, you're so insensitive or you're so selfish. Say thank you. Say thank you. Tell them they're right, this is the best way ever. Say, you know what, you're right. It doesn't mean that you believe it. You don't have to believe it. Tell them what they wanna hear. Tell them what they can hear because most of the time when people are projecting that amount of of crap on you to get you to do something that they want you to do they can't hear you anyway because all they can hear is I'm gonna I'm gonna get her to do what I want to do so tell them they're right and then you get to go and do whatever the hell you want to do anyway and they get to be right and you get to be free so just remember it's just an interesting point of view it's not the truth and that's one of the most subtle energetic ways that you actually get to have healthy boundaries and pr conserve your energy okay when your heart is that open you don't need to be protected because you are already divinely protected and your body is telling you your body is saying you can have everything that you want because you're content and you're loving yourself enough to stay connected to your body remember when we have shock and trauma when we're when we are in that virtual vibrational reality system we automatically as children learn to jump out of our bodies so our bodies got got abused our bodies got treated badly and you the being watched your body be abused you've got to stay connected to your body your body is your most conscious facilitator it will always make you right which is where the mindset stuff comes in and why my work healing from trauma at the root cause right pre seven-year-old in utero past lifetime is so vital because if you can't name it you can't change it so you've got to protect your heart so that you can keep it wide open okay and that sounds a little counterintuitive but that's the best best thing that you can possibly do is stay there in a place of knowing that you are loving and kind and and actively appreciate I have incredibly strong boundaries because that way you get people either are going to rise up and, and get in touch with what they need 
and what they have they are willing to ask for and the ones that aren't willing to to come with you they can go away okay same thing with the job that you mentioned Elena you know we take jobs when intuitively we work with people where first your their first impulse your body tells you is that this isn't going to work before there's even words come out of their mouth you just know this is not a match whether it's romantic relationship or anything you just know it doesn't feel good and yet we're taught oh give them a second chance or maybe you were wrong and we go into the doubt because of all the programming and the conditioning so just stay in your body and walk away because if that person is going to give you nothing but hassles you don't have room in your life to bring in people that are aligned that see the value in your work or or see the love in a love relationship because your mind you're you're running on that fear energy all the time of of what do i need to be and who where do i have to, what do i have to do and how many you know how many times do i have to bend over backward and they still treat you like a doormat so without solid boundaries you 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 never ever upgrade your life so I'm gonna I'm gonna post the link to the PDF uh, below because I think I've been going for a while. Yep, and I need to get into the traffic. So, just be really, really, really strong in practicing active appreciation for the places where you have perhaps slipped on leaving your gate too far open. Okay, remember you get you're the gatekeeper. You get to to let energy in and you get let to get let energy out. It's you know boundaries should be like breathing. You have to practice intentionally appreciating when something doesn't feel good in your body, okay? So watch where your mind wants to take you. Be aware, there, there is no careful in this because if you're being careful, you're thinking, oh crap, what do I need to be afraid of? Okay, so you wanna be aware of what is it that I'm feeling and give yourself a pause. And on this PDF cheat sheet, you'll see I've given you some really easy ways that you know but you've just stopped practicing that you can just start to use like take the pause say have a breath and you can always say I'll come back to you in the morning I just need to check my diary or uh, you know I'm just gonna check in in with my partner can I come back to you you know they feel heard they feel appreciated my pleasure Louise and that way you get to go away and check in with yourself, okay? Instead of going, yes, and then going, oh crap, how am I gonna get out of this later on? Which only brings up animosity and resentment and the person's gonna have to make you wrong and you're gonna make yourself wrong. Stop the guilt trip, stop the monkey mind, just push pause, stop. Just stop and take a breath and check in, okay? Because it's so automatically a program, you're gonna have to do some training on this and you're gonna have to practice this a little bit. <laughs> every day when something doesn't feel good yeah yeah so how can you how can you support your body Roxanne in in pushing and taking the pause just taking the pause and knowing it's not personal and just see the manipulation for what it is another thing I love to say is I go wow that was such a great manipulation you know and then we start laughing you know, I even do that with my my daughter and sometimes she says to me mom you do you know you're just trying to be right because I can get pretty obstreperous and and we laugh and it diffuses all the tension and your body gets to shake it off laughter is a great way of releasing so are tears and you get to take the pause that way and then you, you then you can start from a place of of expansive questioning and inquiry it is so important to listen to your body you know your body is never lies to you it's like a horse you know horses will always tell you where you stand always tell you where you stand and that's what I love the work with 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 Liberty and, and join up is you can have a herd of horses and I can and it's always so interesting when I do this with with businesses and CEOs and teams which horse is attracted to the person and 90% of the time the person that has been the doormat their entire lives will get the bully horse that pushes them away because they actually don't know how to say no and it's just the most miraculous quickest
fastest way to actually see them start moving energy and moving a horse in a round pen. So be ruthless with what you allow into your mind, okay? And that includes television, Facebook, other people, uh, other people's business. If you're in other people's business, you can't be in your own business. So stop watching and comparing and going into that crazy mind tripping game of what you think other people's lives look like. You have absolutely no idea. Don't believe everything you see or hear, including me, okay? Trust your body. Take what's true for you. Check out the rest. We talked about this yesterday. And things are not always what they see. So here's another one that might trip your mind up that'll give you. I'm giving away all my top tips and tools today and secret secrets because I want you to change this because the sooner you start standing up for yourself, the sooner we can start standing up and saying no to the Monsantos and the pharmaceutical companies and and the big stuff and the Trumps, right? He's the biggest bully out there. <laughs> so is Zuma. Um, you know, so just remember, distraction is the destroyer of your dreams. Distraction, it's a distractor implant. It's designed to distract you. It's designed to take you out of your body. That's what, that, that, that's what it is. Manipulation is huge. It's one of the best ways. And how do you do that? Blame, shame, guilt, jealousy, anger, rage. There's so many distractors. Anytime you're going into how, 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 you're in, in lack. You, the, the distractors are already bitten you in the ass. Okay? We have to have boundaries, strong boundaries. Preach it, sister. Hell yes, I am. Okay? And avoid small-minded conversations like, like a totally deadly virus. You know? Oh, how's the weather? Um, oh, well, you know, nothing's going to change because get away. If growth and happiness is even slightly important to you, your growth, your happiness, your love for yourself, stay away from gossip. Stay away from the rumor mongers and the hearsays and the food patrol. You know, that's one of the best. You know, people that are literally trying to make you out to be a fraud, um, to demean and, and flagellate and justify. It's bullshit. Stay away. And if you, if you catch someone doing that, shut it down. Shut it down. You know, sarcasm is one of those. You know, it's the lowest form of humor, and it's usually a sign of very low self-esteem and confidence. And you see this in nar narcissistic um, and codependent relationships. You know, it's snide. It's, it's always like a snarky comment. And, and your body feels hurt. Even though you know it's not true, your body feels hurt. This is helpful. Give me some love. Give me some hearts. I'm talking so fast, I'm not asking you to send me some energy. Tell me this is resonating. Um, give me some questions and I'll practice silence. That's another good way. Okay, just even two minutes, just sitting and paying attention to your body. Just breathing, pushing pause um, on your day, on your surroundings. The world is going to carry on. You're allowed to give yourself permission to say no. I'm just going to push pause on 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 the addiction to all the outside noise and chaos. Come back to your heart. Meditation, 20 minutes in a day. Walking meditation. You can do that when you're, you know, it doesn't have to be sitting still for two hours, okay? It could be a walking meditation. For me, washing the dishes is a meditation. Um, there's so many ways that we can just tap back into our body and and feel that again thank you thank you send me some more love okay so um what's another way to to practice good boundaries and i'd love to know how you practice good boundaries so so post below some of the things that 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 really make you feel strong um below so that we can all learn and try out what you what works for you and remember what works for for one doesn't necessarily have to work for another there's no right or wrong way these are just some of the ways that I that I practice coming back into my heart resetting my compass direction and getting aligned with what matters to me in a way that's kind and loving to me first okay don't follow any information that your intuition doesn't agree with you know women tend to be a lot better at this than men but everyone has a sixth sense. I call them my spidey senses. And we only use them for emergencies. I want you to, you know, live in that place of, of spidey senses all the time. It's like you're this big antenna 
and you're 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 this giant satellite dish and you're also you know you're emitting frequency and you're receiving frequency all the time your spidey senses are on i want you to intentionally start appreciating them more okay do it from a place of this is my this is my new normal okay we were, we all have such an intuitive capacity to be in the space all the time and that's the work right that's the work that i love to do and that's why animals are so good at showing us how to trust our intuition trust your intuition stop waiting to receive love before you give it your ability to feel love is always in direct proportion to how much you can express and demonstrate it starting with you you know no act of love and kindness goes without reciprocation so if you've got barriers up you can't even get through to your own heart because you're living in your head. You know, expect miracles from this, okay? Out of the whole 28 days, today's probably the one I love the most because without boundaries, you're lost in a sea of chaos and, and craziness and you can't please everybody, right? You're never gonna make everybody happy. So could you start by honoring and appreciating actively that you know who you are? And that you love yourself fully and completely as a whole divine perfect being of love and joy and grace and faith and happiness all right Louise I need to go too so you know what else is possible from that place of loving yourself so that others get to love themselves more loving you loving yourself is going to show show up in in how you treat your body how, and your brain and your home and your and your resources and your surrounding and your money and your investments so you're going to watch that shit carefully okay and grow it consciously grow it consciously okay i love you guys i kind of feel like i'm on a roll but just know you know be protective of your space you're not a device that you can plug in and charge charge if you're if you're always on you're gonna burn out this is what we do when we don't have healthy boundaries if you don't make strong healthy boundaries someone else will make them for you you'll feel like a doormat you'll feel used unacknowledged unappreciated and you'll feel like shit so could we stop that could we stop that because if you're gonna stay out of overwhelm you've got work to do you can't lose your mind or your heart so be protective of your space you know we're 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 all in the middle of a life experience it's supposed to be an adventure and your story is being shaped by what you what you're saying yes to and what you're saying no to and I teach people boundary skills to prevent stress from accumulating and turning into a huge problem okay and the problem the problem often is when you're setting boundaries in the beginning it's gonna be stressful and you'd rather not feel the stress as a temporary thing it's not going to last forever it's temporary so remind yourself i'm going to do this even though right now my heart i'm having heart palpitations i'm sweating under my my arm i'm just a sweaty mess and i'm feeling anxious let your body feel that because after that moment then there's this big loving and beautiful caring space and and there's the relief so how can you improve your self-care today because radically loving yourself deep down where it's a little scary is where the honoring of your no is not the hell yes okay honor that it's my pleasure okay you're not a machine you don't have a reset button but you do have permission to pause and you can say it thanks can I get back to you especially when you're sleep deprived have you noticed most people ask you for stuff when you're exhausted <laughs> because you're you're exhausted and and it's and it's so much easier to, to say yes to the things you want to say no to when you're tired so good sleep hygiene is is important if you're gonna if you're gonna grow into your secure boundaries and, and be willing to say no and take care of yourself and I know I need that the boundary that says it's okay to go slowly and thoughtfully through most things I feel you know I kind of feel a pressure in a sense that things need to be done right now but real life is not instant 
okay? Real life doesn't happen in the click of your mouse or uh, a reboot of your computer. You know, we're not sliding the screens through a million Facebook posts. Real life isn't like that. And yet we're trying to keep up with machines. Slow down. You know, I really try not to be consumed by going too fast and stay on my own pace. And I listen to my body and I want you to listen to your body. Give yourself permission to not be like a machine. You're not a machine. And I'm interested, how do you deal with pressure to do things right now or fast? You know, let's check in with your boundaries because you're never going to please everyone. So please yourself first. Please yourself first. Another one, you know, that I always, that I can laugh at now, but it used to really piss me off because I'd always say yes and then I'd regret it later on. And someone would, you know, pass me in a shopping center and they'd go, oh, Sarah Jane, can I just pick your brain about something? You know, I've been getting these terrible, terrible migraines for the last, no, you can't pick my brain right now, but you're welcome to make an appointment. Here's the link. I look forward to booking you in and, and helping you with those migraines. The minute I hear someone say, can I just pick your brain? Oh, can we just do coffee? What's the agenda? What's the deal here? So my number one boundary is always slow down and push pause. Because when you say no, people are going to get angry. So let your inner compass and your boundaries take care of you. Stress will kill you, all you people pleasers out there. So please listen. Appreciating that no of strong, healthy boundaries is coming home to your heart. The women I see, they're exhausted and they're drained and they're in overwhelm because they're CEOs and they're mothers and they're, they're lovers and they're friends and they're caregivers. And there's no love. They're not giving themselves the love to say, no, I can't do this. I need a break. And what happens, the only way they get valid, they validate that they can take a break is they get really, really sick and they end up in hospital or with hives or somewhere where they've got a doctor's letter that proves that they actually can't be bothered right now, right? Don't ask her to do anything right now. She's bedridden. Please don't wait for that. Please don't do that. You are so worthy of saying no. You are loved. You are enough. You are kind and you are caring sensitive beautiful women and here is your permission slip if you still need one after i've been going this long say no say no download the cheat sheet practice some of the the the, the nifty little sentences that i've given you in there i'll post the link below hi heather and just remember as much as connection is essential for our survival it's a tribal truth that we all each all actually need to know what our peace is don't transgress and start doing other, people, other, other tribe members' pieces. We all know what part we play if we have clear, open communication. So you have to be willing to ask for what you want. Okay? It, the tribe is only healthy when each member knows its value and doesn't try and carry the whole. Tribes know how to listen to that compass direction inside and honor the seasons, the nature of things outside, by first going deep down, honoring this internal compass. Okay, the North Star that will always guide you home is right here. You have to keep it safe. You have to keep your gate open when you want it open and closed when you want it closed. Shut out the noise, go deeper into your heart and then look up. Look up every now and again. And remember, it's your life. It's your life. And you get to, 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 to live life in your truth and say no to the no and say yes to your yes. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna stop there. I gotta get in the car. I love you guys. I could go on. If this if this interests you, if you're interested in in a in a class or uh, you know a longer session of how to create safe boundaries, how to look at your blind spots, let me know. Maybe we put something together in a group group setting like this. All right. So if you'd like. The boundaries cheat sheet let me know i'll post it when i get back just now just know boundaries are amazing they're flexible they're protective layers through which you make all of your relationships with with each other and yourself through love 
There is no around, there's only through. So appreciate your boundaries actively and and just love into the ones who who get are gonna get angry when you say no. I'm sorry, not today. Okay? Love them. Love them and say no anyway. Alright? I love you. I actively appreciate you. And I will see you tomorrow. I'll be in Nisna. I'll be by the sea. So I'm let's let's see what would it take for me to have a clear clear signal and be able to show up here tomorrow and uh, and join you again. All right. So if you yeah, that's it. If you want the boundaries cheat sheet, hashtag boundaries below and um You'll, you, you need to PM me your email address if I don't have it, and I will send that right over to you. Okay, so only say yes to the things that give you joy. I love you. Thank you for sharing this. Thank you for being here. Um, and now you get to go play and practice your no. All right, guys. Lots of love. Bye. Mwah.